What's up, it's me Tech Master here, and today I got a video on how to uh, spoof your phone number. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to telnix.com and sign up. Like, just sign up right here. Click sign up. The link will be in the description, as all the other ones. And then to sign up. And then after you sign up, it should you log in. You got to verify your account and your email or something like that. I don't remember, but uh, after you do that, do your area code, do whatever area code. I just use this one. And then uh, search numbers. Then you want to add to cart. Check it out. Buy it. That's all you want to do there. And then after that, I'm not going to buy this, of course. Then after that, what you want to do is go to my numbers. You have an added connection. Uh, not, not that yet. You want to go to, uh, where's it at? Sip trunking. I'm going to set up a new one just for the sake of the video. Add a sip trunk connection. Just name whatever you want. And I'm just going to name it tutorial. Free up connection. Then you want to uh, make an IP address. First, you can do is look up your IP address. I'm going to hide mine, of course, but you want to look at your IP address, copy and paste it. Paste it there and then uh, put this a colon and then 5060 and then save that. Say finish editing. And after that, that's about all you got to do here. And then after you do this, you want to go to Oracle VM virtual box, download and install this. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that, but down install this, of course. And then you want to go to here. The link will be in the description too. Just click download. I'm gonna let this download. I'll be back when it downloads. Now that it's downloaded, you want to open virtual box. Let me just drag this over here. This is the one I actually used that set up. We're going to make a new one for the sake of the video. There's an other, other unknown and then name, whatever you want. I'm going to name it tutorial for the sake of the video. Uh, should be other oh, me 64 bit and Linux others. And then I'm going to put this to like, you put this probably much much Ram, but I'm going to put this in like one, not two for 2048. This is about two gigs of Ram. 8 gigs, create that, all that default dynamically allocated. We're going to put this to like 20. You don't have to, but I'm going to just in case it has to. I'll put that 20 gigs, create. Then what you want to do is go to settings. And first of all, if you want to go to network and then turn this to bridged adapter. And uh, we're going to put it on... Uh, my this is my ethernet cable one i believe yeah it is but put it on at whatever your ethernet or wi-fi adapter is and then you'll have its own ip address outside the system and also i forgot to do here you want to go to uh where is it at system storage and then go to uh that also this i already have it here choose that And okay, you can open it up. Just click on it. And it should start. I guess I did it wrong, but whatever. And then just do the recommended. Enter. How about the VGA? Standard. And let it do its thing. I'll be back when it's done. All right, it's not done installing yet, but you want to do this. Set a password for the sake of the video. We're just going to put it to a uh, tutorial for the sake of the video. You put whatever you want. Just put it in the password that you trust. You know that's safe. Just click done. That's something wrong. Yeah, I did. We're just going to put it password. There you go. Click done. 
or you can't use it weeks probably week all right i'm just gonna do put actual password i didn't want to but there you go and you click done you know the password's uh set you know that all this complete i'll be right back when it's done or there's something that you have to do that records your input Okay, now that download is done, click reboot. And now that you've done this, uh, just close this, power it down, save power off the machine, go back to uh, virtual box, and then go to settings again. Go to excuse me go to uh storage and uh, delete these isos now start it you can wait for this or just press enter is it faster to press enter Let's just do what it's got to do. Uh, log in. I believe it should be root. Then the password you set when you were downloading it. Do not worry. When you type a password, it does not show it. And then you see this IP address right here that pops up. You want to go to your browser and enter this. It should be exactly that. This is the IP addresses that my router follows. It could be different on yours. After you one, four, two. And now you just want to sign up. We're going to put tutorial. Just put your information in. Put your password. You don't have to do this. Uh, you're good. Set up system. Uh, I guess you do. Just put your email. I'm going to blur mine out, of course. Go to administration. Put the stuff you just entered before when you made your account. So it's tutorial. And then the password I set. Or you set. I'm mentioning password I set. Enter the password you set on the previous menu or screen. Act skip this or activate it. I'm gonna skip. Skip that. Skip that. Skip that. Skip this. Skip this to Oh my god. Let's get this too. All right now that you've done that, submit that. Continue. Next. Yes. It should be the system you're using now. Put yes there. Yes, put yes here. It's gonna put your IP address. Okay, now it's done that, not now. It's just set to your IP address. If it's dynamic, maybe on the future I'll do a video how to set that up. But now that it's everything up, what you want to do is go back to Telmix, go to my numbers. I'm using the number I have now. I'm gonna set this to the tutorial. So it's using that one. So this number, I'm gonna blow this number out, but it's gonna be on this SIP trunk. Let me go back to voice, SIP trunking. And now you've done that, it's all good. I'll go back to here. Not to set this up after you've done making your account. You wanna to go to settings and it should be Astro SIP settings. So, so it shows that make sure all your stuff is correct. Make sure this IP address matches with the one you set up in Telnix. 
if he's dynamic i'll i'll make another video on that in the future if he gets enough likes or stuff in the comments Click apply config. Then you want to go to, I believe, applications, extensions, add new. Sip section. We're gonna this is gonna be username. Set this something you remember to make it easy to set it to uh 1010. Do all that your call ID. Set this to the one for now. Set it to the one you got from SIP. Uh, what's it called? Tell Nix. So let's go here. Uh, go back to my numbers. You just copy this and uh, get rid of the dashes in it. Just we're just gonna paste that. Do that. The secret's the password for the thing. So we're just gonna put this in tutorial. It's what you can use to sign in on your soft phone. And that's all you should be have to do there. And click submit. Display. Oh, I forgot to display name. I'm just gonna enter 1010 here too. And then click submit. Now that's maybe your extension. You want to configure a trunk for it, so it should be connectivity. Ship station, not ship station, it should be uh, trunks. Add trunk. Then add the SIP, the SIP trunk. And the name, do whatever you want, but we're going to call it Telnix. Because that's what our trunk is from. High color ID, I forgot what this does. Let's leave that, I know. I'll leave that alone, don't put anything there. Allow any color ID. Then you want to go to, um, actual change for some, you can leave this alone. I'll put 10 for now, for the maximum. Then we're going to go to PJ SIP settings. Username, you don't have to do this. All you have to do, you also put a color ID. I almost forgot here. I'm gonna go to uh general, put a color ID, put the one from the place there, put that there. I just gotta submit that. Oh, sit server, I forgot. It should be, yeah, sip that telling it's already auto in inputted. The server port should be 5060. 5060. Click submit. Oh, I forgot to edit it. I think. Oh, let's go here. Just do all this. Passionate patterns. US toll free patterns. I just click on these set the emergency. And it generate routes. Submit that. Which one is valid? Submit that. Uh, and then apply config. Wait for this to load. Now you want to go to, um, so uh, connectivity, outbound routes, add outbound route. Click, you want to click tell next, the one that you named. You go to dial patterns. Then just do this, 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 this. You don't really need the emergency. Generate the routes. Submit. Oh, right name, I forgot. So I'm just gonna call this Tut Routes, Victoria Routes. And submit. Apply config. And 
And since this is only to like spoof your call ID, I'm not gonna set inbound routes. It should be working now. You wanna go to uh this website, download it, install it. So what you want to do is enter the display name or the extension name, which is 1010. And then you want to put at the IP address for the server, which so right now, which is up there that you're logged into. So enter that. Then the password will be secret. You want to enter that. I have says tutorial. So that's what I enter. Then click login. Then make then make sure you put the IP address. Then the colon fifty sixty for the port. Then you want to click next. Skip this. And now it's found. So now you can make an I make a call. I'm going to call myself. I'm going to blur my num number obviously. Right now, I'm going to change the caller ID to this number. Submit. Then apply config. Now, I'm going to call myself. And I will put a screenshot of the caller ID because I can't record calls. There, it popped up on my phone. Here's the caller ID. So have this on running your computer without showing. You want to uh, put in head of the start. I can't do it because this one's running. So I'm going to other one. Press the down bar and hit head of start. And that's how you run it without having to see it on your computer. And also, this is how you log back in. Use the credentials before. And to change your call ID, that's what you want to do every time you do it. Go to Applications, then Extensions, then click the Edit button, then change the call ID, Submit, and then Apply Config. I didn't change it, but it'll uh, up at the top. As a red button. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please so like, subscribe, all that. And I'll be driving more content. Comment below what you want me to do, attempt to do. And that's all. Thanks for watching.